Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, NomNomNom069, here with another SDL game development tutorial. In that tutorial, we set up our game loop and got all of our functions we'll need to have set up, set up. So what do we want to do in this paddle, in this, this <laughs> tutorial? I'm getting ahead of myself. In this tutorial, we are going to be setting up our paddles and our ball that we're going to draw. And this is going to be time consuming. Not so much is because it's difficult, but more so because it's like it's a lot of boring stuff. It's not fun. I'm sorry. So in this game, in the game we're making, we don't need to draw any images. In fact, the only external file we're gonna load up will be our font when we're gonna start drawing the scores with SDLTTF. For the paddle and the ball and pong, all we're gonna use is SDL rectangles. So, SDL rect, we're going to make three SDL recs. Player, paddle, SDL rect, uh, AI paddle, and SDL rect ball. Okay? So, in our load game function, we are going to set up these paddle, uh, uh, these rectangles, okay? So, we are going to first make the player paddle so player paddle dot x we want to set his x offset 20 pixels off the screen sounds good yep and we'll make his width make his player paddle dot y we want to set him we'll just set him up at zero for now and we want our player paddle dot height to equal 100 actually 100 is a little big for what we're doing um, we'll make it 75 and our player paddle dot width equals 20 and actually 100 is fine so we set up our player paddle dot x 20 pixels off the side at x equals 20 y we'll just put it at 0 for now our player paddle dot height we'll put it 100 and our player paddle dot width we'll put it 20 now we need to set up our AI paddle the one that we're going to be playing Pong against. And his dot x, his x offset will equal, well, we want him 20 pixels off the opposite side of the screen, but his width's also 20. So if we put it there at 20 off, he'd be right next to the edge of the screen. So we're going to have to put him 40 off. So our width is 800, so it's 800 minus 40, so 760. Now we want to make his AI paddle dot y. We'll just put it at 0, 2. And AI paddle dot height will be a hundred just like ours and AI paddle dot width will equal 20 just like ours now we need our ball our ball dot X will equal well we want to put our ball in the center of the screen and we want to make constants for this so let's set up our ball dot width equals 20 and our ball dot height equals 20 so our ball width and height is 20. So we need um, we need to make some constants up here. Constant uh, ball x equals what? What do we want our ball x to be? Well, since our ball is 20 by 20, we want its center to be at the center of the screen. The center of our screen right now is 803, no, not 800, 400, 300. So 400, 300 minus half of the 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 width so 400 is how far over it is and we need to subtract it from that half of our ball width which is 10 so we need it to be 390 and now we need the constant ball y and that is going to be half of the ball height um, subtracted from half of the screen width so it's 300 minus 10 which is 290 so we need that so we're gonna come up here above this and do our ball dot x equals um, ball x and our ball dot y equals ball y there we go we've got our if I can type correctly we've got all of our paddles and the ball set up now we need to draw our balls every screen so we're gonna need to go <laughs> draw our paddles every screen every uh, flip of the game so 
pardon me. Um, we first, we need to, um, first before we do that, we need to clear our screen. So we're going to do SDL, fill, rect. We need to fill in our screen. So, uh, well, let's fill rect will do, we'll clear the screen every time. So we're going to clear the SDL surface DST, the destination once we're clearing or what we're drawing it to. So we're clearing the screen. There's no, there's no rect we want to like crop off. We're just no, we're filling in the whole rect. And the unit 32 color, we're just putting zero. That's black. And at the end of our draw screen function, we want to flip the screen. We want to update our screen with the new with the new info, with the new like what's being drawn there. So SDL flip, and then you see right there is a parameter SDL surface screen. So our draw screen, we're, we're clearing the screen with this, and then we're flipping it and updating it. So how do we draw our paddles? They're rectangles, aren't they? So we just fill in our, we just fill in some more recs. So we SDL fill rect to the screen, our player player paddle. And we need a UNT32 color. We're gonna make our color white for our paddle. Now player paddle, uh, we need to put and and there. We need to do pass as a pointer. We don't have a color white. We need to make an is it SDL color or UNT32 color? I must look. I think it's I'm um, yep. It's a UNT32 color. So right now white doesn't exist. Don't worry about that. We need SDL fill rect onto the screen and AI paddle. And we will pass white as well. And don't worry, it doesn't exist. I know it doesn't, we're about to make it. And then we need the SDL fill rect for our third time screen and ball we're drawing it to the screen making a rect the ball and we're gonna pass white to it so we need to make this white color so we need to come up here above our paddle and do a uint 32 white now here's down here where we're gonna map map it we're gonna create our color so we're gonna do white equals SDL map RGB. What SDL map RGB is it takes a pix a picture. You see the XDL pixel format? It'll take a pixel format and from that pixel format you give it a red, a green, and a blue color. Okay? And then it'll it'll return a UN32, a 32 integer color of that kind. Of of the uh, image kind. So what we need to pass is our screen format and we need the R so white RGB is 255 255 255 so that's exactly what we're gonna put in 255 255 255 so now that we've created our white we F7 compile it no errors everything succeeded and BAM our two paddles up here and our ball in the center of the screen now I don't like our paddles they're up at the top. Let's let's change them to the center. So with the Y, they're 100 pixels tall, and the height of the screen is 600. So we're gonna need a sub so half of that is 300, and we subtract half of our height from that. It is 300 minus 50, so 250. So we'll pass 250 down for both of these. Put their Ys both at 250. Compile this F7 and run it. If once it finishes compiling and bam there we go both of our paddles in the center so next tutorial we'll get to moving our paddle our player paddle and we will get to moving maybe the ball if I get if we get around to it um, I think the uh, other tutorial for that will be pretty quick so yeah we'll probably get to moving the the player paddle and the ball so thanks for watching guys remember to like comment and subscribe and before I wrap up I'm sorry um, Let's go over what we did today. So what we did today was we created our ball X and Y, the start spots for our ball. We created our color white for the, S, for the uh, paddles and the balls. We created our AI paddle and ball rectangles. Down here in the load game, we set all our positions. We mapped the color white so we can draw them. In our draw screen function, we cleared our screen, drawed our paddles and our ball, and then we updated the screen. And we made no changes to our main our main function all it, all we did was modify these three functions 
So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Like if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.